how do we solve how do we solve logarithmic equations logarithmic equations so that's going to be the driving force of this section the question is how do we solve logarithmic equations so let's look at some of these here is our question e to the x is equal to 72 e to the x is equal to 72 how do I solve that? I got to solve for x. How do I get rid of this e to the x, you ask? Great question. Now remember, natural log is the inverse of e to the x, or e to the x is the inverse of natural log. Okay, they go together. This is, remember, natural log is base e. So to get rid of that e to the x, what am I going to do? I'm going to say that natural log of e to the x, natural log of 72, hit both sides with natural log, that's perfectly legal. Remember, we're balancing the equation. What I did on the left, I have to do on the right. So I hit this side with natural log, hit this side with natural log. Natural log and e to the x, e cancel out. So what we're left with is e is x is equal to natural log of 72. And you say, now you type that into your calculator, your scientific calculator, your graphing calculator. You type that in, and what do we get? We get x is approximately, remember that's approximately, 4.277. So there's your answer. And those are approximations. Very good. Using e to the x and natural log. Okay, let's look at some more of these. We're solving natural log equations. Okay. Number two, we get e to the x plus 5 equals 60 e to the x plus 5 equals 60. What are we going to do? Well, if this was just x plus 5 equals 60, you know what to do. We want to get this e to the x by itself first before we do anything else. What am I going to do? I'm going to subtract away the 5. I'm going to subtract away the 5. Okay, step 1, subtract away that 5. I get e to the x is equal to 55. e to the x is equal to 55. What do I do next? What are we going to do next? Great question. Remember, we got to get that x by itself. I'm going to hit both sides with natural log, the inverse of e to the x. So I'm going to say natural log, natural log. Cancels out. We get x is equal to the natural log of 55, and x is approximately, approximately 4.007. Again, approximations, not exact answers. This is your exact natural log of 55. Not too bad, nothing too taxing. Let's look at another one of these. Just again, we're solving logarithmic equations. And question number three. Question number three says 4e to the 2x equals 5. What to do first? What to do first? Again, get rid of that 4. Get the e to the x by itself. In this case, it's e to the 2x. Divide out that 4. There goes 4. There goes 4. So I get e to the 2x equals 5 over 4. What do I do next, you say? Again, what's the inverse? Natural log. Very good. Nice for paying attention. So natural log. So we have the natural log of e to the 2x natural log of 5 over 4 and what happens here the natural log and e to the e cancel out so I get 2x equals natural log of 5 over 4 I know you're awfully tempted right now to type that into your calculator to get an approximation but always hold that off to the end especially when it's approximations you hold that off to the end Get the x by itself. How do I do that? I'm going to multiply both sides 